A sir, not famous, whichever would be more. Either right. way, kind of like famous, like Trey Wilcox, yeah. who is here this morning and sharing his wisdom on. Do we call it stuffing? Do we call it dressing? You know, we can call it either or. You know, this is a really cool cauliflower and white cheddar dressing. Oh. You know, um, very different. I noticed the cauliflower in there, and I thought, wait a minute, I yeah. thought we were making. I thought we were making dressing. Yeah. You know, the dressing portion of it, a little bit more ground bread. Uh, mine is a little bit more chunkier here, so we kind of can call it a dressing if we want. Um, stale bread, just a little bit of ground white cheddar here. In a pot, I started a little bit of apple smoked bacon and then cooked it till it was nice and crispy. Mm -hmm. Added some onions, some garlic, and some fresh cauliflower. And That's as you what's can been drawing the crowd. Yeah, <laughs> cauliflower and bacon, great combination. Mm -hmm. So, at my cooking school, I've been teaching a lot of holiday cooking classes lately. Um, Trey Cooking Concepts, and it's been really fun, you know. Tim, we still got to get you out there and I, with the wife or a little couple's cooking class. Mike I know. keeps inviting you over here to learn a tip each time. I, it, it, it sounds like a lot of fun. You do, you do team building corporate events, mm -hmm. you know, which is, and you're in such a hopping area with so many companies up there yeah, in, in North really Plano. Yeah, very lucky to be where, located where yeah. I am. Preston headquarters right across from the Nilo Hotel. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's just an awesome venue, cooking studio where I can host a lot of cooking classes, and the team, corporate team building is huge. Yeah, cooking competitions hosted by oh. you know, a pretty experienced guy from cooking competitions. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Most of my right? coworkers wouldn't trust me with a knife, but uh, <laughs> well, that's why we make you sign a waiver. Yeah, but real easy, real straightforward. After your mixture of cauliflower yeah. and bacon, it's cool. You want to cool it down, mix it with your bread. Tim, mm -hmm. add the white cheddar. Mm -hmm. I've got chicken broth, cream, and eggs. All that mixture gets mixed in together. You spray out a pan and mm -hmm. add it to whatever pan that you want to bake it into. Right. Okay. A baking casserole dish, mm -hmm. um, or you whatever you. You don't put you... this in, in the bird. No, this is not one this you want to put in the bird. This is actually one you want to put in a casserole pan. I've actually already made one for you ahead of time. Oh, sure Thank you have. have. And I've got it right here for you. This kind of check out the finished process of this. You know, the consistency of it with the chicken broth means that it's really, really. Because nice I took your loose. spoon here. Oh yeah, Just give me some of that. Yeah. Have that spoon. It's okay. I mean, so, that's something we can just eat out of the pan. Yeah, this is that's what you gorgeous. want. Mm, very it's loose, nice and creamy. Smells um, amazing. I think it's the way that you should definitely sleep in some veggies and a holiday meal. Right, and, and what a great thing. You'd be invited back next year to make it again, right? That's what's up. <laughs> that's why people go to cooking <laughs> class. Thank you, Trey Wilcox, so much. Right We've got, the, yeah, the recipe and the link on fox4news.com. You're going to find it there. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Happy Thanksgiving. It's going to be a great season for you. Happy I know that. We'll be right back with more.